Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to make the best dust collection cart in the world. Yes, is that good? Uh, I did a lot of research and figured out how to make the best possible dust collection cart for the least amount of money, and it's awesome. So I ended up going with metal versus wood, like a lot of people have done, just because wood over time ends up weakening no matter how you attach it even if you do really good joints still pushing it around the, the shop all the time is going to weaken it up eventually so that's why i went with metal you don't necessarily need to weld it you can even make brackets out of wood and build the platform out of wood but still use the basic cart um, either way it's going to work awesome way better than most of the other designs out there so i'm going to show you how to do it stay tuned so i decided to go with a welding cart from harbor freight for my base this is almost the dimensions I needed for uh, holding the vacuum and the dust collector um, separator from Dust Deputy. So that's why I ended up going with this particular model and I plan on just building a frame off of that to hold this on the bottom and then my vacuum on the top. I will show you a video of my vacuum later. This is my vacuum. It's a fine Turbo One. I ended up going with this particular vacuum because I did a lot of research and I couldn't justify the money, uh, spending the money on the Festool vacuums. They're just too overpriced in my opinion. But I do have a lot of Festools and other tools that use dust collection, so this seemed to be the best fit. Um, I went with the Turbo One instead of the Two because the extra capacity didn't matter to me knowing that I was gonna use the dust separator eventually. First step is going to be taking this piece off here. It comes welded there after you assemble everything. So just cut it off with a grinder. And after that point, now we'll start fitting the barrel. Next step is going to be opening up the arms on the side to be able to fit your barrel. Uh, if you choose a different barrel, you might not need to do this, but if you choose this one off of Amazon, like I've linked in the description, you're gonna to need to make the side arms here and here come out a little bit farther. So to do this, I made a small slit right here. I don't know if you can see it. Right there and right there. Just this side from here down to here, just so I could push it open a little bit and then I will weld that back in place later. Okay, so I got these little slots I cut earlier to wind this up, weld it in, and I ground down the bottom so I can weld to it. And then now I'm um, adding a support on the front for the front of the, the bucket for the dust separator. And I'll get that all welded up and then show you the rest of the framework. Next step is to frame in that one piece I just showed you. So this is the final framing for the bottom. Um, I might throw in some more supports later, but I think this should be fine. I got it all welded together and cleaned up, and now I just need to make a little lip or something right here just to keep this in place so it doesn't slide out. And then after that, I'll be making a tray for the vacuum on top of um, the dust cyclone. So at this point, I'm trying to figure out a way to hold the drum in once it's um, in place, but I'm also trying to make sure that when I have to take it out, I don't have to lift it up because there's going to be a platform about this point. So I ended up deciding to just make a strap to go from here to about here, uh, keeping in line with this piece here because this is what's holding the back of the drum in. So I'm just gonna make um, a strap using these weld nuts. The weld nuts will go on each side um, and then these will attach to the weld nuts once those are attached to the weld nuts, I will weld this quarter inch stock around and that will hold it in. And then I'll just use thumb screws to take it out. So it'll come out easy, it'll look good, super simple, done. So now I got everything attached for the band that goes around the bottom. Um, you can see the little plates attached to the rod. Those are going into weld nuts that I welded in earlier. Just goes around just to screw on that side too. 
Uh, this rod was kind of a pain to work with. It's the first time I've got it from this supplier. It didn't want to bend evenly. It had. It seemed like it had kind of weak points in it, so it only bended in certain areas easily and other areas really hard. So it was hard to get a consistent shape, but it still ended up okay. At this point, I'm going to build the tray that will hold the vacuum cleaner on top of where the dust collection is going to be. It's going to mount to the handle part. Um, when you get this from Harbor Freight, this, is, this comes detachable. So just to make it easier to weld it all together, I took it off. And I'm starting to work on the tray right now using fixtures and the welding table. Okay, now I got it all welded together. All I have to do now is finish weld it and then figure out how to attach it to that piece right there. Then after that's all done, I will be figuring out how to hold the vacuum on there. Um, I'm thinking about trying to use these little pockets on each side here and here and build something that goes up inside of them to kind of hold it in place. Maybe like a strap over the top too, but we'll figure that out when we get there. After a good amount of thought, I decided to do to hold the vacuum in this way. Um, originally I was going to do some other type of design that held the bottom of the vacuum, but I figured this will probably be the easiest. The vacuum is just going to sit on this cross piece here, and then I'll probably have a strap system or something that goes over the top to hold it. So that way if I need it for something else, I can just pull it out real quick. Okay, so after a little more experimentation, I figured this isn't going to be enough to keep it on if I hit a bump or anything. So I ended up adding this piece right here. And this fits up inside the vacuum. There's um, uh, holes in the bottom. So that goes up inside the hole and keeps it snugly secure. And then the vacuum fits on like this. So the rear of the vacuum is going to be here and there's going to be a crossbar that holds it onto the cart. Um, I figure I'll just use some type of uh, cord or something once the other crossbar is installed. Okay, so I got the crossbar all welded in right here. This piece across, and then now I'm in the process of attaching the plate to it that will hold the vacuum. So I'll get that all tacked on and I'll be back with more. After a bunch of trial and error, I decided to go with this method of connecting the vacuum to the dust deputy. The biggest problem I had is the fine vacuum is a metric size hose and it's just an oddball shape. So using any type of standard hose to connect the, the vacuum to the dust deputy just wasn't working. So I ended up going with one and a half inch ABS fittings, tubing, and then a one and a half inch uh, rubber coupler. So this all seems to work pretty well. Um, it's not dropping the size of the hose down at all. It's about the same inner diameter as the dust deputy as well as the vacuum. So it should work pretty well. The next step at this point is going to be making the boom arm. So first I had to figure out a way to attach it and what to make it out of. Um, after looking around a little bit I decided to make it out of conduit uh, three quarter inch just because it's light, it's cheap, and it's pretty easy to work with. Also, I had this tubing here uh, that was recycled from something else I had um, that fit perfectly over the three quarter inch conduit. So I welded a washer on the end of it just to keep the tubing in and I'm probably gonna attach it somewhere about there just so it can pivot back. After some trial and error, I finally figured out how to do the boom. So I started out with making this here um, it slips over the conduit and I welded it to the frame. Conduit slips in, rotates back and forth on that pivot. And then for the boom I used conduit and made these tabs out of quarter inch steel. Welded the tabs to the conduit. Then welded a um, nut through, or a bolt I should say, through there. Welded these bolts onto a nut to act as a handle so I can turn this and did the same thing up there. Um, one thing I should say about anytime you use conduit or finished fasteners like these, I believe they're zinc plated, um, you have to make sure you strip the coating off first because both of those are quite bad for you. 
So before you weld it, make sure you strip inside, outside, um, or use something different that doesn't have uh, zinc or um, other types of coating on it. So you guys can get an idea of how everything's going to kind of go together in the end. Um, I just hooked up the hose real quick. So the vacuum runs in the top of the desk deputy, and then the Festool hose comes out the side. Normally I would have the plug plugged in there too, running up through with the hose. Um, but just for representation, I just did it this way for now. Um, to attach it, I ended up using these Harbor Freight uh, hook and loop tape. Uh, they come in a package, I think they're only a few dollars. I took them out of the package and put them in here, but there's two different sizes they sell. Those are the two sizes I use the longer ones. So it just runs up the boom, and then out the end. Seems to pivot back and forth pretty good. At this point we're in the home stretch. All I had left to do was add hooks for the cord, which is this one you see here. And then on the back side, these are gonna be hooks for um, the vacuum hoses when I have them off. And next stop's gonna be paint. Just got some paint on everything. Um, I'm not sure if I showed you in the last part of the video, but got the hooks welded on. These are just hooks from Harbor Freight. Uh, I believe this one's for hanging a bicycle. These, I'm not sure what they're for, but they seem to work pretty well for this project. Got it all painted with some Rust-Oleum. I just touched up the bare metal areas, um, primed and painted them. It's mainly just so it's all one color. It's not perfect, but for a shop car, it's gonna be perfectly fine. It's gonna get scratched up anyway, so. Just wanted it to all look the same when I put it together. And there you go. I finally got everything together and got it painted. Uh, this is the final product. Got the hose on. The boom, everything attached. I connected the hose to the Festool cord with uh, the smaller hook and loop tape pieces. Um, that seemed to work pretty good. Everything rotates back and forth really easily. Should be really easy to cut everything. And you can see the back with the hose storage. And then the little bin that it came with it was attached higher up from the beginning um, I ended up not using the brackets at all but down here where the axle mounts there's two sets of holes so I just picked up the holes on the the bin drove through the bin and then just connected it with some bolts but it seems to work pretty good I keep all my extra hose attachments in there you can see the hooks on the back Then the hook on the front for the power cord. And it's all done.